Active mostly in Bruges and Antwerp, Gerard David presents an exacting depiction of the removal of Christ's body from the cross. Every element is sharply defined and highly detailed, from the pristine teardrops on the mourners' faces to the skull rendered with nearly clinical clarity. It serves as a reminder of the name of this site, Golgotha, the place of the skull. Here, David pays tribute to his Northern European audience and to the privileged status of his patrons. Peeking out from under the generally traditional garb of Nicodemus, who carries Christ's legs, are luxurious garments and accessories, his purple drapery opens at the bottom to show that it is worn over a mantle of brocade or damask, lined with luxurious links, while his bright red leather boots have a thick, open-toed sole. The artist's meticulous paint handling compels one to look closely, and doing so brings similar discoveries to light. Some of the figures wear swathes of fabric that mostly, but not entirely, hide their fur trim garments, gilded belts, brocaded sleeves, a red velvet purse. Looking at the history of humanity, there are a lot of people who could be considered significant and to have impacted the world to various degrees. But I think very few people can stack up to the figure of Jesus of Nazareth. At least in hindsight, and assuming that he existed, he must be considered one of the most famous people who have ever lived and one to have had an enormous impact on the world and its culture and history, at least symbolically. He's a central figure to some of the largest and most influential religions in the world, including of course Christianity, Islam and the Baha'i faith, but Jesus can also be quite an elusive figure. And different people often tend to have very different ideas and views about who he was, if he was, and what he stood for. Gerard David, born on 1460, Outwater, Netherlands and died on August 13, 1523, Bruges, now in Belgium, Netherlandish painter who was the last great master of the Bruges school. Very little is known about David's early life during which time his work reflects the influence of Jacob Janssen, Dieric Bouts, and Gerd Gantat St. Jans. He went to Bruges, presumably from Harlem, where it is believed he formed his early style under the instruction of A. Van Alwater. He joined the Guild of St. Luke at Bruges in 1484 and became Dean in 1501.